Even at 83, Harry Markovitz is still a real workaholic. He teaches as a professor at the University of California in San Diego, advises various financial institutions, and is writing three books at the same time. Markovitz achieved world fame in the early 1950s with his modern portfolio theory, for which he received the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1990. For decades, his theories on diversification were considered as almost incontrovertible parameters for capital investment. Markowitz's portfolio theory came under criticism during the financial market crisis, but he was glad of the attention. It gives me a good opportunity to, 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 to teach about portfolio theory. It doesn't change my mind about portfolio theory. Markowitz defended his theory, saying that he had never claimed markets were calculable or predictable. In his conviction, the market is often very volatile for only short phases. This gives rise to unaccustomed correlations that may also override diversification effects for a while. Even if you could use God's own probability distribution of returns on securities, there still wouldn't be one perfect portfolio. Because remember what portfolio theory offers is a risk return trade-off. So what's the right portfolio for one party is the wrong portfolio for another. For someone who advocates hanging on to shares in the long term, Markowitz himself makes very unorthodox investments and has proved to have a lucky hand, particularly in the wake of the financial market crisis. So I didn't get away, get out of all my equities, but I sold off, I have ETFs, you know, uh, uh, spiders and things like that. Uh, I kept Craft my college retirement equity fund. You know, I'm not going to touch that. So I, I reduce my equity p exposure, and um, and I just put it into you know, California short term you know money market, California exempt tax exempt money market, until Bernanke reduced the interest rate by 50 basis points, and then I put it in commodities, and then by sheer dumb luck we got out of uh, commodities at the height of the commodity bubble. I've done quite well, but you know, but in terms of uh, a fiduciary relationship to uh, people's retirement funds, uh, I take much a much slower kind of you know more stickier kind of approach to investment. Today, Markowitz has again invested the larger part of his remaining portfolio in Californian government bonds, which provide tax-free income because they are issued by municipalities. Markowitz gives private circumstances as the reason for behaving contrary to his diversification theory. We want it to be true that if I die tomorrow and if and if everything cra and the stock market crashed completely, my wife could live on the tax-free income on the, on the municipal bonds. Although he admits that this type of investment is relatively risky, Markowitz is still sure that his strategy will bear fruit. 